This is problem four from chapter zero in your textbook, and we will look at this one a couple of different ways as well. Problem four is stated as the base negative x to the minus four, y to the minus four in the numerator, x squared, y to the minus two in the denominator, the entire quantity to the fifth power. And our question here is, what is this going to be when we simplify this out. Now this one here being to the fifth power makes it a bit tedious to try to expand this out with five copies, rearrange and keep track of everything. When you end up with that many terms, it becomes very easy to make an arithmetic mistake. So this is one of those times that we really want to have a mastery of our exponent rules and apply them to our benefit. So when we look at this, one of the first things that we can recognize is that the negative sign is the mathematical equivalent of multiplying by negative one, and we will use that to our advantage. Now, me personally, I despise dealing with negative exponents. If I can at all possibly get rid of a negative exponent by shifting it to the other side of the fraction bar, I will do so. And so that's the first thing, the first method that we're going to utilize is getting rid of the negative exponents first. We're going to utilize our order of operations and work inside these big brackets first and get rid of as many negative exponents as we possibly can. Mastery of this process entails practice with this process. But the first thing that we can do here is we can bring the y to the minus two up as a y squared in the numerator. And then our x to the minus four can come down as an x to the fourth power in the denominator. And our y to the minus four can come down as a y to the fourth power in the denominator. Now, once again, you could do this from multiple different pathways at multiple different points in the problem. But for the moment now, you see that this has gotten rid of all of our negative exponents that we're having to deal with. And we can now simplify when we realize that x squared times x to the fourth gives us x to the sixth right there. And then with one further step, we remember that when we have the same base divided by itself, the powers subtract, so two minus four would be y to the minus two, leaving us y squared here in the denominator. You could also expand those out and just cancel individual factors. Be sure to convince yourself of this step before moving forward in the video. Now though, we can take our exponent five here that's outside the brackets and we can apply it to each individual factor. Please remember that you must have strict multiplication and division processes to be able to do this. This gives us the negative one raised to the fifth power, and then the numerator one raised to the fifth power, and then in the denominator, we know that power to power multiplies, so we have x to the six times five and y to the two times five. And when we simplify here, we get negative one to the fifth, negative one raised to an odd power is going to leave you a single negative sign. One to the fifth is always one, and then six times five gives us x to the 30th, 2 times 5 gives us y to the 10th, and those quantities are in the denominator. Now, that is one method of doing it. We can look back at our previous starting point here, where we have substituted in the negative 1 for the negative sign. We could have just dealt with the negative powers and cleaned up at the end if we wanted to, and it's not too tedious with this problem. We could have done the same process, and we would have had the negative one raised to the fifth power there. And then each corresponding term, you would have had five times negative four, giving you x to the negative four times five. Five times negative four, giving you y to the minus four times five. And then for the denominator, you have x to the two times five, and then y to the negative two times five in the denominator. And when we clean all this up again, you have negative one raised to the fifth power. It's an odd power of negative one, so you're left with a single negative sign. Up top, you're left with negative four times five is negative 20. And then y to the minus four times five is negative 20. 
x to the 2 times 5 is x to the 10th, and y to the 2 times 5 is y to the negative 10. And then when we go to clean that up a little bit more, we see here we keep our negative and like bases on opposite sides of a fraction bar, you would have x to the negative 20 minus 10, y to the negative 20 minus, be careful here, negative 10, which will give you negative x, negative 20 minus 10 is minus 30, y to the negative 20, but you have a double negative here, so negative 20 plus 10 would give you y to the minus 10, and as a result, we would end up with our answer being negative 1 over x to the 30th, y to the 10th, and if we go back and check our previous slide, we see that we do indeed come up with the same exact answer right here.